Hello everybody, uh, just in case you want some torture BS video, I'm going to make one on a solar project in the U.S. with tax equity funding. Now, here's what happened. I don't know. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I think there was a lot of abuse going on here. Somebody gave an assignment to an intern, a poor young intern, and told this person to build a quarterly model, layer in high level tax, <coughs> layer in high level tax equity, layer in construction and term loan, including bank leverage and bank debt. Run levered and unlevered returns. And then give me a summary. Give me an executive summary. Tell me uh, about all the sources and uses. Give me a cash flow summary and amortization profile with P50, P one year, oh, one year P99. Give me the unlevered and, and, the equity returns, assuming a 35-year useful life. So, okay, enough. <laughs> and then we've got all of these assumptions. And here's the idea. I think it's going to take me, I hope it's going to take me two or three videos, because I think if I make hour-long videos, oh, that's just too much. Now, this person... This person was extremely nice, okay, and crying, and, oh, my God, oh, what am I going to do? I should go work at McDonald's or something instead of this crap. Why do I ever want to get into something like this? So he, he was supposed to, within like a week or something, make all of these assumptions about the two different PPAs, uh, renewable energy credits, of course, O and M, some uh, capital expenditure schedule, and uh, and then we have to put in the the tax equity investment with different flips, with different ITCs. We've got to put all this back leverage assumption for and compute the debt size with P ninety nine and. P50, put in some provisions of a term loan with some debt service reserve letter of credit. All right, that's what we're going to do. Now, my background is a little funny. I'm staying in Malaysia. I got the flight of my ticket wrong. I've had a, a wonderful time in Malaysia. I lost my phone. I, I couldn't call it Uber properly. They call it a grab here. I had to take a... A motorcycle, I've never really ridden on the back of a motorcycle before, and I had some good experiences, but who cares about that? Let's get started now. One of the reasons um, I, I, I decided to use this is because they, they seem to give a lot of data on this, and presumably the data is pretty reflective of, 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 of what's going on. Okay, and uh, I hope you didn't see that. <clears throat> and there are some, now I helped this wonderful person out, and uh, there are, uh, 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 we, we finally made a summary page with all the IRRs and with all the sources and uses statement, and some, they didn't ask for some summary statistics, uh, but what's the cost per KWP? Oh, my God! Okay. Uh, when that it, hopefully people can do it for about half that. And, if, and then we can compute the KWH divided by KWP yield. They didn't give this, but uh, there's a mistake with the capacity factor when you come back to that. So we'll look at some of the the, the ways we might set this up right now, I, sh I said, oh, we should put the levelized cost of this whole thing and see what it really costs at the very end of the day with all of these 
tax equity things going on and the tax equity partnership and all of that. Now, can I just maybe, I, 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 I need to make another comment here. And the comment, whoops, 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 I didn't want to do that. Okay, the comment here is the very first thing. Build a quarterly model. What? Oh, ah. Here's why. Make, if you're going to have some inputs like this, let me see if I can get these things in. If you're going to have some inputs like, oh, this is a, a picture. So I've got a, if we're going to have some inputs like this that are monthly, we need some kind of monthly model to feed into our quarterly model. And I've come up with it. I, I have a totally new philosophy on this, and I'm sorry I'm not getting into the modeling right yet. But the make the, how do I say that, make the periods as small as possible. I had to do something else. I'm going to make a video on it. I don't know why. Another person called me from London, and they gave him the most ridiculous test I've ever seen with different days in the, the month for the draws and, and 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 then you had to compute the interest with different days fine oh geez if you have some of that start with a very fine timeline start with the smallest increments for the timeline and then you can aggregate it okay uh and so i'm going to what when i kind of helped out on, on being arrogant in my old stupid age a little bit. Of, you know, when I helped him out, he had already typed in these inputs, and frankly, it, it's just horrible. And frankly, this is how I've seen models, I'll, I'll say tax equity models. And you've got some inputs over here, uh, uh, I moved these over here, but initially these things were over here. We've got things just all over the place. You know, Kenny, I like him better all the time. He says an input S. Keep all the input S in one thing and an input T. I think that's kind of bull. Fine. But at least if you have these kind of things, why in the hell won't you... Uh, 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 you know, put this up, and I know, oh, it's so beautiful, because I heard, I had to hear the Wall Street, uh, this was the most beautiful format from Wall Street training. Oh, no, this was the most beautiful format from, uh, I took a Wall Street training class, and they told me how to format a spreadsheet. Oh, jeez. Okay, great. Good for you. Sorry, I'm in a funny kind of mood today, okay? And... Uh, okay, so we need to do that and, and move this over. And I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but I hope you, you do the, this kind of stuff, okay? This is ridiculous to try to be, to put all the inputs in these wacko places and think it's beautiful or something. Okay, Ugh, okay. Now, uh, uh, enough of that but maybe the bank has this rule that you're supposed to put the inputs in like this okay huh <sighs> and then we didn't even get the start date it's all over the place I, why don't you put the start date on the top okay we won't do some of this so once we've we, we'll get the input and i suggest putting the input for the taxes somewhere else now when <clears throat> I started helping a little bit, and he had this bizarre thing where he tried to spread a typical shit where you try to spread this thing over the, the periods or something. Now, I took that out. If you press Alt-M-D, no, Alt-M-D, no, nothing found. Let's see, Alt-M-D. Uh, that went down there, but we didn't use any of this. Alt-MD. Let's get rid of this crap. Okay. And then you can get all the tax rates and everything else. And we'll make a second video. And again, this, this crap over here. If you have a little comment here, maybe you like this. My suggestion these days is to... Uh, uh, 
And now my friends in Malaysia can do all this stuff so much better than this. My my suggestion is to make a little thing and to to uh, to show what your comments are, and what we'll see what these kind of comments are. And, and instead of calling this comments, we can put uh, 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 documentation. Okay. And I spelled it wrong. Who gives a crap? Let's put this. Let's make this a range name comment. I'm sorry. I don't have a place to sit. The computer is sitting on the bed here. And oh well. And and so this is named comment. And we'll we'll uh, uh, first of all let's let's make it a, maybe a little different color so that's our checkbox okay and then I'm doing this fast I just screwed up what did I do colors and lines it says no fill I thought I just did this okay all right so step one go to the the I, I just got a negative nasty little message even though I make all my shit for free okay you still give me shit messages as if I Care. Well, I do care. It hurts me. Okay, you can't explain anything. The, the, the lady said, okay, here, a little bit slowly. You have to have the developer. You, you don't have developer. Go to options, uh, 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 customize ribbon, click on developer somewhere. Here. Develop, okay. And then you go to insert and find the checkbox. And then we're going to make a macro called comment. And we do this. And then you right, right click. And you go to format control and go to control and click on a different sheet because we need the sheet name. So we got the sheet name here and we click on that one. And then once we, uh, 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 is that always going to, yeah, that's always going to go to this thing. And then we go to uh, blah, 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 assign macro. I think it's always a really good idea to put it down here. And make a new one and we put if range comment okay you can it, if you haven't done this this kind of crap took me years to get right if you want to know the truth and then if it's true you don't have to even put true then application uh, dot display comment indicator equal comment co comment and indicator and if it's not true let's just assume let's just initialize it first and take the whole thing away and take this one and put equal no indicator okay and what happens then is now I want to see all the comments that are in the sheet and I, I, I want to see them down here and so there are some comments okay and we'll put them off okay and uh, good okay so we can put this now because of the way I did it I can put that in any sheet and now you know when you have all those comments uh, uh, you know if you want to make your own comments you can do some of this so we had some merchant risk and then there was a whole timing sheet which I debate and what the heck I'm gonna leave this in here now as far as all the timing stuff goes as far as all the formatting stuff goes let's make the top that go up to line six and let's make that black let's make everything that's in column b uh, a relative lightly light color because if we make it too extreme i think on some of these uh, things i have too many so let's see well let's do it with well, let's do it with that one okay and so you go to the website my website mm, blah if you want to see that and 
you go to the, I better go to it right now because some other people have said, why in the heck don't you put your, you, you, you put these videos on there and then I can't find them. So if you, if you go to tax equity, did I already put this here? I hope uh, tax equity and no, I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to put it right in the tax equity section. And just for good sake, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to, oh, I already put it here too. So just a minute. Uh, uh, oh, that was resolution of problems with the IR. I can't wait to get to that one because we can't really resolve them. Ah, shoot. That website works okay, I swear. I've been trying to get this menu. So I just, I had nothing. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. Even if I did, I'll put some other crap in here and describe what we're doing. Okay. And put the videos, obviously. So that's going to be where you can find it right now. You can find this file, which is kind of a little messed up. I'm trying to clean it up right now. Okay. And I'm, I, I think we should go through it slowly. And then when you go to the website, you can also, and this nice man claimed, <laughs> he was so great. He claimed, oh, I use your website every day. Oh, I, 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 I have a little alarm clock that says, watch one of these torture videos uh, and try to stay awake. Get this generic macro. He didn't use this generic macro at first. Please, and I've, I've done some work on this generic macro. I'm going to show you a little bit, and I'm going to be a little repetitive because I'm going to show you this in a couple of other videos. Now, uh, it's all very beautiful that he puts this little color here, perhaps, but I'm going to just be, start over. So, so you go, I happen to have the generic macros in just pinned up here. I don't, I think maybe... Eddie, she's probably the only one who might have the same thing. Nobody else would. And that's just because she's trying to be nice to me when I'm calling her, probably. And then I'm going to reset everything. So I put a reset. Now, when you reset, sometimes you want to leave in the, I should say, the conditional format conditions. I'll revise that a little. So I'll say no, just in case you have something. And, and so it just takes everything away and... Oh, so it left, I had a conditional formatting, it looks like here, and then let press Control alt c And now I also put in some stuff because I go crazy with lookup and the way that Excel works on lookup. Let's, I think I have about five on the top. And I'm going to use this one. It says bold only one. I should say light, light gray kind of it. So, okay, and then we're going to reverse the format, and these things down here mean you're going to use the default. No, no, it's not the default. It's the, um, what should I say, customized color or something like that. It's, it's, that's kind of a bad name. I've got some bad backgrounds here, but I, I put those in, and you can see how those all work. Okay, and I hope you understand that if it's green, uh, uh, the the if it's green, it comes from another sheet, and this is what I'm going to talk about in Excel. Control square bracket, you know that. Now in German, that's apparently difficult to find. So I wasted all this time trying to put that in. Control square bracket and F5 enter. So so we're going to do that. And he has the development phase and the construction phase. Uh, modeled and okay, I, some timing. I suggest you keep a good timing of the key phases you need. And in a after we so after we make this partnership cash flow, and I almost think we should make a diagram of of of, of what's going on. You have a partnership, and it's owned by tax equity, and it's owned by uh, uh, we call it a sponsor. That's what they call it, not a developer. I always kind of get that wrong, whether it's developer or sponsor. Oh, no, God. Okay. And we just put the partnership itself, and then we do it. I should, this should say partnership pre 
tax cash flow. Okay, and then we have the uh, uh, the, then we put all the taxes in. Now, when you put the partnership cash flow at the very end, you want the unlevered, or they call it, that's what they say in the U.S., not ungeared, unlevered or ungeared IRR. And that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that IRR it looks really low, but don't forget, you get all these wonderful tax breaks, the biggest of which is the, the investment tax credit. So then you, the next thing you do is you put in all this tax stuff, okay? And I, and this is kind of okay, I think, fine. And I'm not saying, God, oh, I hope I'm not giving you bureaucratic rules. I'm just trying to make things clear. You know, when this Kenny's fast stuff, flexible, accurate, accurate, not appropriate, shut up with the appropriate, accurate, structured, transparent, you know, before, if we go to the history of models, they used to be, oh, in the one day when you had to do it with a pencil, that was when they were the best because you had to think like uh, Taleb said. But nowadays, you know, then Excel came, uh, Lotus came, and when Lotus put three sheets in, oh, man, they got so unstructured. So Kenny's thing, keeping it structured is good, I think, and that's why I moaned about getting this this inputs set up a little bit and of course let's do let's do our our format here and maybe this time I'm going to change the color I should have put his color as one of the options and I guess you could uh, uh, yes this time I'm deleting it and then you know uh, you want to leave those things in if you don't if you want to take all those stupid underlines out just press shift control F. That's one of the little tiny shortcuts. You just click on a, you know, to make the shortcuts is so easy. And those are the shortcuts in the, uh, whatever, in the, in the, in the uh, uh, generic macros that come from the gen generic macros. And okay, oh, maybe you don't like this as well because uh, 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 whatever, it's not quite as, elegant with all those little things on the top okay and uh, fine you can waste a whole bunch of time typing those in and i'm going to leave those out for just a minute okay and maybe i'll think about in generic macros one day putting it back in okay and so after we why did i go back to that i was moaning about formatting what a ridiculous thing after we get the irr then we're going to get the after-tax IRR down here. And I don't know if these are even used. Uh, Alt-MD, yes, they're used. So Alt-MD and Alt-MAA, that's what I used to, to, to just check. And kind of they're almost in the wrong place because I would want the IRR to almost be the very, very last thing we do. Shift control plus to get it uh, in, in there. And then we'll go to the allocation. Then we'll go to the allocation to the partners. And then on the timeline, we need a pre flip period and post flip period. And then uh, instead of shit, God damn, why don't you just put the dates here and just do redo the stupid timeline here where you're going to use it? Sorry. That Kenny likes it in one page. And then we're going to, now if we have some debt, we've got to size the debt. So this is almost like a preview video. Let me make this one a preview video and make it one out of about four or five videos because I don't want to have this time pressure. i got this time pressure because I'm bullshitting for too long. I want to stop. And then we have the, construction the tax equity bridge loan and for the back leverage so we have to figure out how much debt we've got to size the debt and when we size the debt we've got to do it either on p50 p90 how in the hell was this young kid supposed to do all this shit come on <laughs> unbelievable what is the world coming to what is this just a pure abuse and then you once uh, 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 then you have the bridge loan for the tax equity, 
okay? And we have to figure out the size of the bridge loan, how it gets repaid when the ITC comes in, and it's going to create some interest during construction for the tax equity. And if we're really careful about things, which I wasn't here, but if you're really careful about things, that tax equity bridge loan interest during construction, I believe, would be considered part of the project cost, would qualify for ITC and create a horrible and nasty circular reference. And the same thing with the back leverage. We need now to fund the back leverage and see how we're paying. And I think they said for the back leverage, for some crazy reason, you were so, you were allowed to put that the the uh, 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 debt in first. And that, those instructions to abuse people and say this has to be done quarterly is ridiculous because these sheets really should be month by month by month. And then we, if we want to do the rest quarterly, but I would do the, the, the partnership quarterly. And so the only question is, how do we move from a, a, a uh, how do we move from a quarter by quarter by quarter kind of analysis to a, a, uh, um, a, a month by month? I'm sorry, a month by month to quarter by quarter. Let me illustrate. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to press Shift and F11, and I'm going to illustrate this timing business. Okay, and here in, in our instructions, we had uh, this little thing that said the, this was the, they put the quarter by quarter insulation. And again, they used a net capacity factor. They didn't have a yield here. And they said an ACDC ratio. And I have to assume, and I don't know why Americans do this. <laughs> I hate it. Is the capacity factor using this capacity factor or is it using, uh, uh, this is DC. And we put 124 AC DC, and of course that should be DC AC. Those idiots, those god <laughs> shit. How'd you get more AC than DC? That's going to be a good trick. So this should be DC to AC, and we uh, uh, take this number and divide it by this because we, if it's AC to DC, it's going to be one or we can multiply it by one divided by the 24 and then we'll put the capacity in and get the insulation so that was wrong i think in the other thing and i'm going to go through some other terms when you see ntp i remember oh what's ntp and i'm so old now i have to admit i have to esg what is it environmental social go something go I, until about a, two weeks ago, I had no idea what was that. I, no, I was never embarrassed. Everybody else talks about that all the time. I said, what the hell's that? What is it? Okay, environmental, you got to get social right. You got to hire the right number of people and all that. Okay, and then uh, now let's put in this CapEx spend. So these, uh, so why would you make the CapEx part of the model not uh, 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 not monthly. So I'm going to do this and then uh, and then, and then finish up. Okay, and we're going to take the uh, 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 take these. Okay, and uh, copy. I'm going to copy them to to a little sheet here as an illustration. Okay, and then. Go down here, and I hope that doesn't take too much. Alt EIS, tab 12, 5%, uh, 10%, uh, 6%, 15%, 9%, 5%, 8%, up 8%, 8%. 
I hope, I mean, now it's August right now, so back to 5%, uh, 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 September 7%. <laughs> Sorry. One more try. It's above the 5 uh, uh, 15% when we have mechanical completion, 5% after mechanical completion, and maybe 10% for all the testing and all that stuff we have to do, okay? We'll, we, we better sum all this to make sure I didn't do anything. Oh, when you sum, there's another little thing, shift control V for Victor. And here's what I did. The auditors yelled at me so much about missing some. So I just said, take the whole line. There's nothing wrong with this. Anybody who gives you some bullshit and says this is going to slow you down or make the model bigger should be just taken and put in Excel jail. You have to watch a hundred of my uh, torture videos. That's a good penalty. Now, let's make a, a, a model and let's make it go from uh, uh, 1 to 30, okay? We have, that could be dates, okay? You understand that could be dates. Fine, let's put in dates. 1, 1, 2, oh, two, 2, fine. Shift control 3 equal E date, comma 1. Shift control 3, shift control R, because generic macros is open. Oh, I know how good you are. You can go uh, 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 control C, <laughs> no, no, you go, <laughs> uh, sorry, control right arrow, whatever, <laughs> I'm not going to do it, I'm too shitty at it, okay, and then, stop swearing too much, I've got to stop, I, some people get offended by the swe sw swearing, and some say, I don't care, uh, okay, and then we, Let's do it over here. So this is our, this is like our model. Uh, uh, okay, and there, there would be absolutely no reason not to do this, this monthly. I used to have a very different philosophy about this. When you have to press shift control R twice, I'm sorry about that, but that's life. Okay, and I have some enormous model, or did have some enormous model here, so I may better make it automatic accept data tables and then now let's put in uh, 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 this is let's put in some of our capex so so if we have a uh, a, a capex uh, here and this is this crazy thing that they did with uh, uh, Maybe you really are mad at me about uh, uh, doing all the rest of this. They had one, they had a development S curve. We should, we should put that here. Now, before this S curve was on the top, and I'm sure the, the wonderful person I was working with, it's not, I'm not blaming him in any way. It, it's the fact that these, uh, 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 these people with their little, fancy modeling crap and thinking they're doing something good or just doing really crap stuff. Okay, and, and then we have our capital, ex, what we call it the capital spend curve. And what he did then is somehow manually sum this. Okay, and let's see how we could, uh, uh, um, uh, this is of course ridiculous, you wouldn't have to do all of this. And this is the sum over here. And he shift control V for Victor. And, and shift control uh, V for Victor. Just in case, for some reason, a lot of times it seems, at least for me, you get the sums in the wrong place. And he put the quarter here. And of course, of course, it's so impressive when you can reformat that. Right, we can control one, and maybe we can see. Ah, oh, we did that, and maybe we spent half an hour trying to get that beautiful formatting thing done. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then, so so, and and then we have some construction costs. Let's just put the panel cost in here. So so, 
go down here. So if we're doing this a little more carefully, we put panel cost. Oh no, I've, I've, I've got to make ABC. I, I, I had these wonderful people in Malaysia say, what did you learn in the five days of eight hours listening to me BS and, and complain and, and torture you? Oh, I, 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 got, I know how to put A, B, and C small. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 panel. And maybe we should always kind of put a couple of extra things here, and we can put over here a, a, a cost. I think this time it's pretty obvious that that's the cost. Now, you know, Kenny would say, no, 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 put it in a line, another line, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, fine. I don't mind that, really. I'm not going to complain about Kenny, because one day he might want to... <laughs> Uh, shift control. Now I have shift control W, shift control Q. That's just simple little formats. And let's put a, a, uh, a, a construction period here. And let's make our construction period be, be 12 months. Of course, this would never be allowed, but let's take this one less than or equal to this one. And let's leave it true false and put the panel cost in and press F4 and uh, uh, multiply that one. But of course, you should press F4 three times. Takes me too long to do that. Shift control R and we turn it off. And now for the S curve. Now let's. Um, uh, 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 for the S curve, whew, we're going to use one of three things in Excel. People use offset command too much. It's not bad. What the heck? Oh, but it's just so much harder than look up, index, and sum if. I try to teach these classes for five days. That's about all the big three, and we'll do two of the three right now. So you put equal look up. Not V lookup H, you put, and if you don't, and what's going on here? He's got two lookups here. Okay, probably my fault. You click on the, the what you're going to look up. You click on the entire line. That's why we put it like this. And then you click on this line, and you press Shift Control P and Shift Control R, and it gives you the numbers. And if you and if you don't want this last one, if you want this last one to turn off, a really good idea would be just to put in a 13 and then it's looking for the zero and it'll keep that. And I've shown you this interpolate lookup before and all of that. And if we were to put this uh, uh, here, let, let's put this one over here and let's. Uh oh, oh, no. OK, I hope I. Don't have it here. I had to press Shift Control V for Victor twice because it was trying to sum the previous ones. So now I'm going to take this one, and now for the partnership, even though I already have it, I know, but I, this is a video and I'm trying to explain things. I'm going to put this over here, maybe because we uh, uh, we. We want it all nice and beautiful, and I'm sorry about this. Uh, uh, oops, control X. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, uh, what we really want to do is now I'm going to stop here. Now, the, the construction start should be in a different line. I just hate this. I'm so sorry. I just hate this. It should be on a separate line. I know it was beautiful with your blue thing up at the top. And that's when we're starting. But our model starts here. Okay? And if our model starts here, and if we shift control three, I know people in America don't know how to read those dates like that, but it's really not that hard. You put day, month, year. Okay, and then uh, uh, now we can go over here and let's insert a few more lines because we really have a development period which started one year earlier. I'm going to 
Ah, uh, click. Uh, ah, should I do that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, do I have to do all of that? Fine, whatever. I'm going to put equal E date like this, column minus one. If we do that, shift control three. Of course, there's no, some people say, ah, I'm going to compute, I'm going to make this control left, uh, which maybe I would have liked because I couldn't do it just now. Control V. Uh, uh, and then what's going on? Do I still have, uh, did I still not put that? Yes. What did I do now? Okay. Oh, oh, th this was, uh, this was going to be the, the, uh, start date of the model now. Okay. So this model started in this date. Okay. Oops, and then, oh no, <laughs> oh shit, okay, one more time, okay, so, so we have these dates, and then uh, uh, it starts here, and now that lookup worked, and if I even copy the lookup over here, uh-oh, uh-oh, it didn't work, and I... So here's why it didn't work. I thought I was going to do this. Go down to the, uh-oh, th th this is the period, and this is the percent. And this is lookup, one out of the two. We're going to do the next one right now. Uh, uh, <sighs> And I know you're going to go back and do your same old crap. But we put equal lookup. Not that one. Okay. And we go to this thing. And we go up to the, uh, 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 the whole line. And you put it across the row, the columns like this. And you spell percent right. Because remember I had that guy from the, those auditors who said I have spelling mistakes because I can't press the F7. And now I think we have to put one more uh, a, a date in. Okay. And once we set up those dates, excuse me, I'm making it look so much more difficult than it really is because this is now we'll put after we're finished, we'll put the operation date in. Okay, and then it's zero, and then it's all automatic. Okay, and and we've got the, huh, if I could ever get this right. Okay, we've we've got all of that. Okay, and hopefully, uh, shift control uh, shift control V for Victor, and of course I did a mistake again. Shit. Uh, one, two, whoops, uh, uh, March, uh, uh, now I have to actually pause it, did I really do this, did I really put two instead of one here, oh my god, okay, well that was a good illustration of an error that old people like me would make, okay, now let's continue and let's show you I'm going to get finished with this video it's way longer than I ever dreamed of just for a little tiny introductory video okay and uh, uh, okay we better color this shouldn't we uh, uh, so we can now see uh, uh, where that th this is green so it comes from the other sheet and this is blue. I should have never put a blue one in. And this is black because it's just a calculation. And we have a color on the true and false. And if you didn't want, if you wanted to make this instead of true and false, if you wanted to make this one and zero, like most of the world does, you'd press Shift Control R. You'd have to press Shift Control C and color it one more time. Okay. And. Uh, 
I hope I have some zeros here. Now it does the same thing. Those colors can be, of course, totally flexible. And let's press Alt WFF uh, uh, to, to show our screen. Now this is the big one. If I do two things now, two things, control, uh, blah, 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 uh, control square bracket, F5, it gives me that. I go to the lookup, control square bracket, and it gives me the date. So what? I don't want to see that. But if I press alternate U, it gives me where it comes from. That alternate U is a macro. I had to write a shortcut that I'm going to use for sum if and for uh, 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 sum if and for lookup. Okay, and then I can press the F5 and it comes back. And that was hard to do. It was really a pain. And that's part of the generic macros. So I hope you're still with me. Maybe you're not. We don't really need this one. Okay, and now let's put this month uh, quarter by quarter. Now to make this quarter by quarter, let's insert a couple of rows, Alt WFF, and here's the big deal. This is our date. And then let's put our, our month. And then we put new quarter. Now, of course, you can do this with the end of the quarter, OK? Uh, Jesus. And, and OK, why, why don't I put uh, uh, end of start and end uh, of period? And to really get worried about uh, whether whether it's the start or the end. And you put equal EO month, equal EO month, tab up here, comma. This time, since it's one, we put comma zero. OK, fine. You can yell at me about putting that zero. And then you put equal month, and you just go up to either one of them. Duh, they're going to be the same one. Shift control one, I'm going to press shift control W. OK, and we get the month number. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. And then down here, you put a little flag, whether it's a new quarter. And let's do what we shouldn't do. I'm just going to put a quarter so I can do this semi-annually, quarterly. And you put equal MOD. And you go up to this one and put a comma. And you press uh, F4. OK, and if you do that, shift control right arrow, it gives one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero. And when we hit zero, we're at the end of March. So we just put an equal sign and put a zero. OK, that's the mod, a very kind of common thing to do. And then this is the hard thing, not that hard quarter. Here's how I should say this. It's not hard for you. It was really difficult for me. When I put a quarter counter, here's what I used to do. I used to put a plus and go up here, and it just started counting. But notice I have two in the beginning. And notice this is the next new quarter, not the end of the prior quarter. So you go equal, and then here's the big trick. You go back one for a quarter counter. And then let's put up here, let's put S curve uh, for the quarter. And this is the big trick of all. You put equal sum if, and I can't tell you enough, sum if, if you're using offset, try to use sum if. I really believe it. It's not, I'm not talking about this time it takes to calculate or anything. And you click on this entire line the entire line, and that sums across that. One, two, three, zeros, one, two, three, ones, one, two, three, twos, and then you go to the very same counter. And then after you go to the very same counter, you click on the entire S-curve line. And let's see what it does, Shift-Control-P. And then you go across, and what it does is it summed for the first three quarters, it summed for the next three quarters, the next three quarters, the next three quarters, OK, uh, uh, we have that one. And then, uh, 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 OK, 
but we're not fi we're not really ready because I want to put this one just in that last quarter. By the way, if you have something like this where please don't start formatting one by one, press control space bar and make it wider. Okay, good. And let's put our alt WFF again in there. Okay, and now just take this one and multiply it. You need it, that, that flag up there anyway, or that, I call it should be called a switch, but call it a flag like everybody else. Shift control R, and then we, now we put it in the end of the quarter, end of the quarter, and end of the quarter. If I would some, for some reason want to do it semi-annually, I just put six, and then I get my, uh, it, it goes, uh, 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 half, I guess, uh, six. I wanted a really six. Okay. And that's how we can format things quickly. So this is just getting the more, I, 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 I've got to do something about getting the model start. Okay. This sum, if that was the big deal, use the lookup, please, uh, uh, set up the formats correctly, understand what's going on. Let's make another video that works through the uh, 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 I'm sure it's going to be exciting for you that works through the operations.